is Johnny Nunn, and I am the chef and owner of Corzetti Restaurant. We opened about a month ago, a month and change, and we do uh, kind of handmade neighborhood uh, Italian with um, a focus on pasta, but also on um, Italian American classics. I was kind of groomed for, you know, an office life. Uh, and my parents, you know, worked really hard to make sure we all got, you know, every opportunity we could have. So we went to the best schools they could afford. And um, we, uh, so when I got out of school, I was, you know, looking for jobs that sort of met that criteria. And it turned out I was putting most of that pressure on myself because they just wanted to, you know, ultimately need to be happy. But every day I would, was walking into my office job, I was just like, oh my gosh, I wish I could cook, you know. And, and it, I was never really far from it. Um, and at the time I was living in San Francisco and just sort of uh, got into a good restaurant out of nowhere and um, uh, it was kind of everything, everything changed at that point. A lot of these dishes are things that evoke strong food memories for people so if someone doesn't like the spaghetti and meatballs it's because they have this sort of exalted spaghetti and meatballs from their culinary past that maybe this didn't sort of match up to. It's not that it's necessarily objectively better or worse, it's not what they were expecting. Um, so um, I like the process of cooking pasta though, of making it and um, going through something every day and trying to get better at it every day knowing that perfection isn't achievable and um, some days are, are better than others, you know, the, the finished product, but um, you know, just a month in, you know, we're, we're pretty consistent with what we do and how we're doing it so far. Um, but you know, I mean, nostalgia, I mean, I, I loved meatballs as a kid. I mean, that was one of the things that I would, how do you make meatballs for a meatball sub, you know, and things like that. So I, if I sat down and ate this restaurant, I'd have a hard time not ordering spaghetti and meatballs. I hire um, for personality above anything, like do we think the chemistry is going to do well here. So um, I've got another restaurant and um, there's a new chef that came in before we opened Corzetti. So at Vertigree, you know, Trevor brought in his guys that he wanted, and I brought all my guys. So we've had people, one of the guys that's here is, has been with me for six years um, for through another restaurant. Um, so uh, we, I like people that are coachable and um, are just honest about the process. Like, no, this wasn't good enough or, you know, this needed to be worked on. Um, and, uh, I, that's how I hire first. I always like to hire, you know, sort of a prep dish guy first. And the the trade off is, you know, I'll teach you how to cook if you if you man, you know, man the dish bed um, for as long as we need it. And invariably, you know, even under good circumstances in the kitchens, there's there's a relatively high turnover. Um, so you know, every now and then, it, there's a period where there's a couple of guys gone that that you have to fill. And so um, the job as chef though is very much a teaching position. So if, if you got a kid you think is, is smart and you know, he or she it looks like they're eager and want to learn how to cook, I mean, that's, that's really it. I mean, cooking is, is not um, this like great unlocked mystery, you know. Um, you can open, just open a book and start reading. And, you know, I tell the young cooks when they get here, like, look, you're, you know, you need technique. You know, you need to you know, learn all the basics. And the way that you do that is just by cooking every day. There's no fast way through it so I'm gonna I'm gonna give you the map here but you're really ultimately gonna be teaching yourself how to do this so Yelp is you know Yelp is a, a particularly you know sort of tricky platform because you're taking something that's objective mm -hmm. um, you know uh, and then making it subjective and that's the craft of cooking so objectively to make a meatball it needs you know this, that, and the other thing. It's got to stay together somehow, and it's got to be seasoned well. And, and uh, you know, it might not fit someone else's sensibilities, and thereby making it subjective. And we're putting ourselves out there, so we're we're putting ourselves out there to be critiqued, and that comes with the territory. But now we've given someone a platform that is being disseminated to the whole world. You know, and um, a lot of times, you know, I want to. You know, you want to be like, well, that's just patently wrong, or, wow, I'm glad that person mentioned that because I wasn't aware of that problem. So you have to be able to to filter 
these things. And you know, some people are mean spirited about it, or they'll, they'll take a shot that's not necessary. Um, some people will, you know, be, you know, well, they just probably had a bad night, but here's my experience. And these are all valuable things. It's just, you know, a lot of it is expectation derived. And if someone's meatballs weren't what they thought they were going to be, they're going to be less likely to give you a good review. So it's just, it's just the lay of the land now. You don't do something because you feel like you, you should or you're supposed to. You know, that was kind of my experience. Um, and don't be afraid to change. If you, you know, if you're, if you get into it and you're 26 and you're unhappy, which is the age that I was when I started cooking, um, just change. It's going to be hard for a little while or scary, um, but do it, you know, do it responsibly. Don't just, you know, pull a Jerry Maguire, you know, and <laughs> take apart the office on your way out. Um, uh, and, you know, give yourself, be patient too, because um, I was always, I was always just so impatient with. You know, I really want to find my niche. I really want to be comfortable somewhere and know that this is what I'm going to be doing for my career. And it wound up, you know, exacerbating the situation because I was just putting more pressure on, on, on myself to find it. And you know, when cooking availed itself as something that I that I could do, I was just so, um, you know, relieved and a big, you know, a big, um, you know, sort of weight was just lifted off me, and I'm just being way less stress-free, or way more stress-free, and just just was able to actually engage at that point. So, give yourself a break. You know, don't be too hard on yourself. You know, work hard, and and pursue it, you know, vigorously. But, but also, you know, it's okay to not know what you want to do for, you know, for your whole life when you're 23.